Okay, so I'm going to talk about um, this whole idea of <clears throat> there not being any people. This whole idea that, that there aren't any people, there are, there's nobody here, there's nobody there. Um, along with that often you get ideas, oh we're all one and, and, and the rest of it. And um, it's very popular uh, to talk about this in spiritual circles, in particularly non-dual circles. Um, and there's a lot of people who get really pissed off with it. Um, yeah, it was sort of joke, you know, um, recently about the Advaita police, you know, who said that? Um, so there's all that stuff going on. Um, and there's a lot of confusion about what is meant and if anything indeed is meant by it. And what's the point anyway? Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to talk a little bit about that. And in order to talk about it, I'm just you know, going to have to uh, be a bit conceptual here. Uh, so I'd just like to say before I start that there's no, this is not an attempt to speak truth. Um, <laughs> If you want to uh, um, disregard it, attack it, whatever, I, I, I don't care. I, I'm not going to defend what's said. It's just an expression, which may or may not be amusing, entertaining, informative, I don't know. Um, so, there's, there are two parts to me. There's the thought part and the feeling part. The thoughts, um, there are also different kinds of thoughts. There's the straightforward facts. My name is Tanya Davis. I am a 44-year-old woman living in Shrewsbury in the UK. Um, I'm not going to add to that. Um, and then there's the story around that. that I, I used to live in Hales Owen and I used to be a maths teacher, now I'm a graphic designer. In the future I hope to do such and such. The whole story of, of my life. Um, very much the, the creation of a character in words and thoughts and labels. And I think most people can see that that is very arbitrary and easily dropped. Um, I could wake up tomorrow and discover that actually I was you know, born a man five years earlier than I thought I was and had a sex change operation at the age of three. I don't, I don't know if that's possible, but um, the point is those things, they do change. They don't define me. Um, then there is a more, a more personal me. And that is the me that is the idea of the controller of my actions, my thoughts, my behaviour. And that is really what, what we're getting at. Yeah. The thoughts are mm, I want to be happy. In order to be happy, I need to do this, that and the other. It is it's the thoughts that are arising there is a constant, almost constant, strategizing. So it's all of those thoughts that say, um, I need to do this, that or the other in order to be happy. It can be some, you know, I need to get a better job, um, I need to start getting up earlier, I need to treat my partner better, um, I need to um, apologise to so-and-so at work. You know. um, and a lot of these strategies, they work, they will make me happier. Um, uh, I need to be more accepting, I need to forgive people. 
depending on all sorts of things to do with each particular character these thoughts can be more or less constant more or less uncomfortable um, <coughs> in this particular character there have been times in my life where that thinking has been excruciating yeah. I remember years ago um, thinking that all I want, I just want some peace of mind. I just want that voice to shut up. Um, reading Krishnamurti as a child, I, I very much got the impression that what he was saying was you need to stop thinking, and I tried to stop thinking. Because that's just another strategy. Oh, I need to stop thinking. It's another plan, another strategy for have future happiness. There's two problems with that. There's two problems. The first problem is that there isn't actually a controlling entity. So there is just the thoughts. There is no I, there's just the thought, I need to be different. And then I will be happy. And then I will shut up. Um, so that's a problem, because it's a lie. It's all of these thoughts are based on the assumption that something exists that does not exist. And the other problem is what it does to uh, and the other problem is to do with the other part of what I am. And the other part of what I am, as I said, is, is the feeling. And that was, that was my difficulty with this whole concept of um, there isn't anyone. Because I couldn't separate those thoughts of me, the controlling entity, with the sensation, the experience, the knowledge, the certainty that I am, I exist. There is an intelligent, sentient being here. No. There isn't an intelligence sentient being here. But there is sentience. There is intelligence. There is aliveness, awareness, awakeness, pure consciousness, whatever you want to call it. It's vibrant. It's real. It's unchanging. It's constant without qualities and yet it's every quality. Um, it's home. It's what is sought. It's what is described but not understood. It's 
seems to come and go. How is that possible? How is it possible that this, that is all there is, that there is nothing outside of, how is it possible that everything can seem to come and go? What is there when there's not everything? why <coughs> the fact of there being no actual person is stressed and repeated over and over and over because it is that that is the miracle the miracle is that that thinking that thinking that I <coughs> this pure intelligence that I am this weak temporary fallible limited imperfect striving to be better little thing actually manages to I don't have a word for it because all, all the words are wrong, um, but it actually manages to allow the belief that I cannot see this that I am. Those thoughts actually manage to fool this consciousness into not admitting the glory of it. Now I'm trying to be careful with words. They don't hide it, they don't mask it, they don't cover it, it's not a veil. nothing can cover everything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. So yes, people get frustrated when it's said that there's nothing that you can do. Because the whole existence of me is based on the idea that I can do something and if I can just get it right then I'll be happy and everything will be okay and it is that thinking the focusing on that thinking that allows the incredible possibility of ignoring the glory and there is nothing that you can do.